Did you know that nearly 45% of your utility bill goes directly to heating and cooling your home? When the temperature starts to dip, it's important to know where your money goes. In this video, we'll tell you everything you need to know about an electric furnace and how it works. Hi, I'm Brian with Fire and Ice. There are a number of ways to heat your home with a central air system. One of those ways is with an electric furnace by itself or paired with a heat pump. In this video, we'll cover what an electric furnace is, how it works, and the differences between gas and electric systems. By the end of this video, you'll know if an electric furnace is right for you. If you find today's content helpful, subscribe to our channel for weekly educational content. Most homes in the United States rely on central air to heat and cool their home. A central air system uses a blower motor inside a furnace or air handler to take air from the house. The air is then heated or cooled depending on the season and pushed back throughout the house through the home's ductwork and vents. In some homes, natural gas or propane is not available, and an electric furnace or air handler is used to heat the home. Have you ever looked into the toaster when toasting bread? Much like a toaster, an electric furnace works the same way to heat your home. An electric furnace consists of a cabinet with a blower motor and heating coils attached to it. The heating coils are also referred to as heat package or heat strips. When a call for heat comes from the thermostat, an electric current runs through the heating coils, making them extremely hot. As the blower motor inside the furnace pushes air over the heating coils, the air warms up and the temperature inside your home increases. Once the desired temperature is met, the thermostat tells the system to shut down until heat is needed again. At a glance, an electric furnace and a gas furnace function the same. However, the difference between them can be vast. For starters, is their efficiency. An electric furnace is hyper-efficient, being able to use 100% of the energy it uses. A gas furnace's efficiency is measured by an AFUE rating and can convert 80 to 96% of its fuel towards heat, resulting in the rest to be waste. Next is its application. If you live in warmer climates, you likely can get by with just an electric furnace to heat your home in the winter. However, if you live in cooler climates, like here in central Ohio, electric furnaces can get expensive very quickly due to the high cost of electricity. In these cases, electric furnaces are often paired with a heat pump and are only used as auxiliary or emergency heat. Lastly is the maintenance of the equipment. Gas furnaces have several mechanical parts to function, whereas an electric furnace has fewer internal parts, making maintenance easier. If you're enjoying this video thus far, please like this video and leave a comment once you're done. We love to hear what you have to say and answer any questions you may have. And did you know we have even more resources on our website? Click the link here to visit our learning center for more in-depth information. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more great content. Now you might be wondering, which furnace is right for me? The answer to that question depends on a number of factors, such as where do you live? If you live in southern United States, chances are you don't need a lot of heating in the winter. Therefore, an electric system or an electric furnace paired with a heat pump would make perfect sense. However, if you live in an area where it gets cold for long periods of time, you might want to consider a gas furnace and an air conditioner. That's not to say you can't heat your home with an electric system. It just will likely be more expensive since electricity has historically been more expensive than natural gas. Another determining factor is access to fuel sources. Some homes lack access to natural gas. In these cases, an electric furnace and a heat pump would be worth considering. Next, are there any indoor comfort problems that you want to solve? Issues with humidity, uneven temperatures, hot and cold spots? The type of furnace you choose should address these concerns. Lastly is your budget and how long you plan on living in your home. If you plan on living in your home for the next 10 to 15 years, you may want to consider a system with a higher efficiency and a greater investment. But if you plan on moving in the near future, 
Upgrading your outdated system with a new entry-level furnace can add value to your home's resale value. If you are looking to invest in a new electric furnace, expect to pay between $3,400 and $7,600 for the furnace alone. Keep in mind, most electric furnaces are paired with a heat pump as well. A new heat pump can range between $5,500 and $13,000, depending on its type and features. At Fire Nice, all of our prices include the cost of equipment, installation, and any additional fees. There are many factors that go into the cost of electric furnaces and heat pumps, including the size of the unit, efficiency rating, add-ons, and any modifications that are needed during installation. There is no one-size-fits-all solution when it comes to HVAC. Let's talk about what to do next. If you'd like more information on electric furnaces and other heating solutions for your home, click the link in the description below. If you found this video helpful, let us know in the comments and click the bell icon to subscribe to get notifications every time we upload a new video. Thank you for watching and we look forward to making your day better.